Hey guys, so I just want to make the video real quick because this is like the third time I've had to do it. I've had random things go off in the house that just uh, mess up the sound and I don't know where my microphone stuff is right now. We, we just got settled in. Kids are finally down for the sleep. I was building some tools for the course and now I am, I was like, oh shoot, I got to post a video for today. Let's post about this. Anyway, video for today is a thank you to Master Draft because, because when I was, I met him around 9 or 10. And I showed no promise. I, I got the crap beaten out of me um, a lot. And I've had a lot of coaches who helped me and propelled me along the way, like Master Master Go propelled me from just under uh, winning nationals into uh, being a successive national team member for like seven years on the Philippine national team. If it wasn't for him, I would that would have never happened. Um, and for all the other coaches out there who have helped me, you know, Master Gar, Master Chamali, Master Lee, my dad, obviously, that's, if you guys don't know, my dad coached me for, for a super long time. <laughs> um, and even the coaches who helped us get started, um, Master Henry Cruz, Coach Kitagawa, Coach Gormley, like, I've, I've had a whole slew of different mentors. And I talked about that in my last one. But specifically this video, I wanted to talk to and thank Master Draft because Master Draft helped me when I showed no promise. He, showed, he helped me before... I even knew I had promise. I just got dragged along to a lot of trainings and he would consistently just give tips and pour time into me. And he did a good job of painting what I could do if I did the things that were being said to me. It's like, you know, if you block a lot more, then it's like you do this and this and like this is how you block. And then if you do that, you won't get kicked in the face as much, man. And, you know, things will be better. And I was like, yeah, I don't like getting kicked in the face so that would help. And it was kind of around the age... I think more seriously around like 12 or 13 when for some reason my dad would say something and I just wouldn't listen. And then he would say the exact same thing my dad would. And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, when I fought my – I had sparred Mr. Drath a lot. He was main, my main training partner even though he was years older than me and he was um, second best in the U.S. during his peak. Uh, I remember my, uh, my finals, my last finals at the U.S. Nationals. And I was trying to hold the lead against my opponent. And they attempted a left leg knot of on. And I remember I had like a mini flashback to the amount of times Master Drath has hit has hit me. And then I learned to adapt against his left leg knot of on. And I remember seeing the spin and I kicked. And I remember when I hit and we clinched afterwards, I thought to myself, no one's ever going to hit me with a left leg knot of on. Because, <laughs> because it's been thrown against me so many times from someone at such a high level. And so... I I wanted to thank you, sir, for the time you put into me, especially before I showed any promise. I want to thank you also, sir, for supporting me this whole time. And if it wasn't for you, uh, sir, I got I I think I did okay in my career. I fought against some of the top best people. I fought in Kyudan. I fought Julio Cho. I got to fight Wudisic. Um I got to and I got to fight Shoking. You know, I got to fight these titans of the game that. I, like a lot of people, I guess, would just, uh, that don't get the opportunity to. But every step, that, that's, you know, really far down the road. But none of these steps would have had, wouldn't have had, would have happened if I didn't hit those earlier ones. So, Master Draft, I hope you're doing well. Um, and just wanted to make this video to say thank you. And so for those of you who are watching, much like Steve Jobs says, you're not going to see that a lot of these dots moving forward, like, uh, looking forward, you're going to see them only looking backwards. So learn what you can from whoever's teaching you because you never know. You never know um, what you're going to learn. You never know how it's going to connect in the future. I'm seeing how things are connecting now in my life, which is awesome, thanks to the mentors I have right now. But for those of you who are up and coming, keep learning, keep doing your thing. And for those of you who are teaching, I'm not saying that, like, uh, you know, a lot of people you teach are going to walk out the door, and that's okay. And I think as I'm moving into more of a coaching role now, I understand that a lot of people that I coach, they're going to get good and they're going to walk out the door. But that doesn't mean my time is wasted. That means they're just stepping ahead somewhere else in life. And I'm glad to have just been a part of that journey. And hopefully at the very end of their journey or as they're reaching the pinnacles of their height, the heights of their success, they remember that I was one of the stepping stones. So that's the video for today, guys. See you all tomorrow.